Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to work joggler stripes when knitting in the round. So when we knit in the round, we're actually working in a sort of spiral format. We come around to our beginning of round point and then the next round begins and the start and end of the round are the two stitches directly next to each other and then each round just builds on top of the other like a spiral. This is what we've got demonstrated here. That's opposed to working in rings and this is how we commonly work in the round if we are doing crochet. You can work around and then you stop and then you build the next round on top of that one with a clean break between the rounds. So each round is completely independent of the one before. Now if we're working stripes this sort of setup would be quite ideal because we can have one color and then stop, build the next color on top of that one and so on and so forth and we have a very clean break between each change of color. However when we're knitting that doesn't quite work as well. We'll be working with our first color and then we stop and change to the next color and we'll end up with a stitch in the previous color and a stitch in the new color right next to each other and that is what's called a jog. So I've got an example just here where I've been knitting in the round and you can see down here some examples of a jog. So here I was working in the cream yarn and then I changed to the blue and you can see this little break here in the horizontal line. Same thing here, I've got a blue stitch next to a cream stitch. So this little break in the line where the two colors change, that's what's called a jog. Now up here, it's a lot harder to see where I've changed colors. So this is my beginning of round point. I've literally worked to the end of the round and then just started knitting with the new color. Up here, the line is a lot smoother and it's a lot harder to see where that change of color has occurred. So this is the technique I'll be showing you today of how to work joggler stripes. And it's really easy, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm at my beginning of round just here. I've got a marker showing me where it is. And I've finished working with the cream and my pattern now says to change to my other color, which is this blue yarn here. So usually you would change color with the first stitch of the following round. For this joggler stripe technique, we're actually gonna have to use the last stitch of the round just before where our pattern says to change color. So you might have to look ahead in your pattern, find where it says to change color. You're going to work up to that point and then just before where it says to change color, that's where you're actually gonna change color. So we're gonna do it with this last stitch here. So it's very simple. All we're going to do is place this stitch that's been worked in the cream back on our left hand needle. So it's been worked, the yarn is coming out of it, the cream is attached to that stitch here and we're just going to slip it back to the left hand needle so we can work it again. So I'm doing that purl wise and making sure that I don't twist the stitch at all and we'll pop it back on the left hand needle and then we're going to grab the yarn that we're changing color to. So remember, it would usually say to change color when you get to this stitch here, but we're gonna do it to this stitch. And all I'm gonna do is knit that stitch once again, but with the new color. So it's actually been worked twice in one go. And now I can move my beginning of round marker if I've got one. And we're just gonna keep working with the new color that we've changed to. Just being careful not to split any stitches. And you'll just complete this next round as normal. So just once again, usually your pattern would say to change the color here. We've just done it one stitch prior to where the pattern has asked us to, and that stitch was worked twice. So it was worked with the cream to finish off the previous round, and then also worked once again with the new color. So I'm just going to knit around to that beginning of round place again. And then I will show you how we're going to make the stripe joggless. All right, so I've just finished off my round to the point where there's one stitch left to go. So this is the stitch that was worked twice. Now to make the change of color joggless, 
we're going to take a look at the row of V's which is below the live stitch on the needle. So if I just tighten up my yarn for a second. So the live stitch on the needle in my case is blue and then we have this row of V's below it. So I'm going to find the one that's just before the live stitch and it'll be in my previous color. So in my case that's in the cream. So this little V here is what I'm looking for directly below the live stitch. I'm going to pick that up with my right hand needle. So I'm going from back to front directly through the middle of that stitch and then I'm going to place it on my left hand needle like so. So now I've got two loops on the needle, one in my previous color, one in my new color. And all I'm going to do to finish this off is to knit those two loops together. So we insert our right hand needle knitwise through both of those loops and just knit them together as you would do for any normal knit two together. So it's a bit loose at the moment, but once you've woven in your ends, it'll all tighten up and I can tighten it up by just tugging on those yarns right now. So it's a little hard to see, but if I continue working in my new color and I now don't need to worry about doing that little technique of working the last stitch of the round twice. If I'm working a wide stripe like this, I've just got several rounds now of plain knitting until I am ready to change colors again. And then once again, I will work the final stitch of the round prior to changing color in the old color and the new color. So it's worked twice. And then when I come around to the round after that, I then just pop the stitch below the live stitch on the needle up onto the left hand needle and then knit the two loops together. So if you keep doing that, you'll end up with this sort of effect where the stripes quite jogless because I'm working quite wide stripes here. I'm just cutting between each color and then I just need to weave in the ends at each point where the colors change. But yeah, otherwise I'm just going to work a couple more rounds and then I would change colors again, just as I've shown you. So that's how to work joggerless stripes in the round. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, do leave them below.